Grady, fantastic. What a great thing you did. Hitchhike, I wouldn't, I wouldn't hitchhike to Croydon, let alone to South Africa. destination being 16,000 kilometers away, taking us through France, Spain, Morocco, Western Sahara, Mauritania, Mali, Burkina Faso, Ghana, Nigeria, Namibia, 16 countries in all. The ground rules were simple. No fixes, no pre-arranged visas, no nothing really. Armed only with a few quid on the credit card, a £9.47 10 from Argos, and enough inoculations to kill a small elephant. It all came down to the magic thumb. I'm sorry, man. Chill out, man. Yeah, man. What are you doing? What are you going on about? You melt everything about me. Can I have a free burger? <laughs> Obviously, the old palate had to step up, adjust and align itself to stomach some rather new and challenging cuisine en route. Sam, uh, are you OK? I don't like it that much. You don't like it? No. Oh, I'd rather a packet of scampi fries, I think. I've hitchhiked all the way from London to Ghana. And the reason I'm making the film is to show people how beautiful Africa is. We can get you fishing boat here. And how much does that cost? Okay, from here to Namibia. Hmm? Yeah. Right now. Now, being an English white man in the heart of Africa, you might as well have a pound sign tattooed on your forehead. I don't know whether I trust them, man. Like. 16,000 kilometers at the mercy of my fellow humans. Zulus, Berbers, transient desert people, even the odd camel. Greetings, well, three weeks and counting from London. I'm uh, stranded in the Sahara. Why don't you go now? So we go to Island Records. I think it's Hammersmith. Yeah, yeah. 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 And we walk in, and as we walk in here, Lee, Lee Perry comes out. Hey, Jimmy, man, listen, I'm looking for a singer. I couldn't believe it. And we go downstairs, you know, in this little studio downstairs, and there's Bob Marley. I thought to myself, oh my God, my dream's coming true. We've somehow managed to get on board some major African world renowned artists, don't know how. Bamako, especially in Morocco, some Ghanaian masters. We've looked across the route. Welcome to the Rasta House. This is where the place where Rastas gather, where we do everything, showcase our talent. As you can see, doing screen printing. We've got brethren there doing fine art. We've got our band there. Outside there is a big stage for everything, you know, the band and uh, people to come in, just relax, you know, smoke, meditate, uh, get in touch with the inner you. Yeah, that's what Rasta is all about, self-consciousness, you know, yeah. The beauty of hitching is you're always rewarded with an entertaining character once picked up. Hello. <laughs> yeah, you remember my yacht? Because so if you listen to me, my yacht, don't ever be afraid to talk because your life and I live with the times you walk until the valley of the sun of one of death may pass, I just step for the enemies, you turn the pen me. It's the quietest place I've found in uh, Lagos. As amazing as the hustle and bustle is of Lagos, it's very peaceful, very beautiful beach. A little snippet into uh, Lagos life. Yeah, on the riverside. 
one. I think there's about 20,000 settlers. And it's important which finger you stick out uh, when you're looking for a ride. Yeah, we don't do this in Ghana. No, you don't do that. That's like, that, that's like this. This, this uh, means that. So we made it, with our heads intact. Obviously, it was the journey of a lifetime. Yes, I will be going back. But of course, we still had to get home to England. We only budgeted for the free flight. Fingers crossed the charm of the magic thumb can rectify this situation and we can get on a flight this afternoon. And you realise it set a very, very difficult task for all presenters of the future. They will have to match up to Grady now. They will have to match up to Grady. And they'll be cheap too, because he hitchhiked. BBC will love that. Oh, you've done terrible, terrible damage to us. Congratulations. <laughs>